today is a big day and it's because I'm going to the hairdresser in a few hours. I want to talk to you guys about this. This is about to get pretty personal and a little bit raw, but we're here for that here, right? Okay. I have been thinking about chopping my hair off for months now. If I'm gonna be entirely real with you, the reason I have not chopped my hair off is because of my weight. <sighs> there it is, there it is, it's out in the world. Okay, so if you guys haven't been following my journey, this is not the video for my entire journey, but <laughs> three years ago, I was diagnosed with Hashimoto's. I gained 50 pounds in a very short amount of time, like we're talking a few months. I think mostly subconsciously and then more so very consciously lately have realized that I have been in insecurity about the size of my body. I have been hiding behind my hair. I've been using my hair to hide my body. Um, yeah, that feels kind of yucky to say, but I'm just putting it out there. I love a good, short, stylish lob, but I kept telling myself that I couldn't pull it off because I have a larger body and especially a larger face. I kept telling myself I will cut my hair off when I get smaller. Okay, I wanna chop my hair off, but I'm not gonna be able to pull it off at this size. I'm gonna do it when I'm smaller. I'm gonna do it when I get there because as you can imagine, after getting sick and gaining 50 pounds for the last three years, ever since that happened, I have spent a lot of my time, energy, mental capacity thinking about getting smaller. I just decided in the last week that I'm done waiting to live my life. <laughs> I don't know what my hair is gonna look like. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull this off. I don't know if I'm gonna go, holy poop face, that was a horrible decision. But I have really spent the last year really working on my internal dialogue and my perspective on my body and the reasons that I work out and eat and do anything related to my body and my health. And I just realized I've made all this progress in loving my body in so many ways, but I've still been hiding behind my hair. You know, for example, I have wanted to create video content for a while. This is something I've wanted to do with my business and the mission that I'm on to connect with women just like you, right there, you. I've been wanting to get on YouTube for a long time and for the last two and a half years, I didn't do it because I was insecure about how I looked and I kept saying like, I'll get on YouTube when I'm smaller again. I'll get on YouTube when I'm healthy again, when I look more like a nutritionist again. And I'm so proud of myself for working through that and realizing that was such a horrible limiting belief. And I just think about the woman that spent two years holding herself back from the life that she could have been living because of the size of her thighs. And I'm so proud of myself for doing the scary thing and sitting here with a camera recording and capturing myself even in this body and even in this season of not reaching quote unquote the world standards. I have so much hope that I'm going to continue to experience physical healing. I'm continually daily working on loving my body. Let me proclaim there, loving my body, meaning not just trying to like the way that it looks, but the act of loving my body by caring for it and moving it and nourishing it well. And I th that's a whole other topic for a whole other day. This is about hair, okay? I just, I wanted to share with you, just get really real with you. That's something I've been struggling with, a lie that I've been believing that I couldn't cut my hair because my face is too big. Like what the heck kind of lie of the world is that, right? Honestly, the combination of going back to hot yoga where I'm getting disgustingly sweaty, like not just like, oh, like got a little sweat on me. No, like dripping sweat. Like I leave the hot yoga studio looking like I just took a shower because my hair is like so wet. That kind of sweat. <laughs> has meant either I legitimately spend 45 minutes to an hour 
just trying to like wash and detangle the mess that my hair is and then do something decent with it. Or I go for days with the greasiest, most disgusting top knot on my head. I just have not been feeling like my best self when I do that. I just realized that I've been letting that hold me back. I know that sounds so silly. And I notice that when I wash my hair, <laughs> I'm more likely to put on makeup and get dressed and then I'm more likely to even though I work from home like actually come up to my office and have a really productive day versus like trying to work from the couch in my pajamas like a slob like everything is a ripple effect and as silly as it sounds I got to the conclusion last week where I was like okay my hair is too long <laughs> for the life I'm currently living aka hot yoga and I, it, it, I'm literally letting the, I'm literally letting that hold me back from showing up well. My mission statement of my business, of my blog, of this YouTube channel, of any place in the world you ever interact with me on the internet. My mission statement is to help women fight the lies that hold us back so that we can show up for our brightest lives. And I just realized like, as stupid as this sounds, the length of my hair <laughs> is so tied to that currently for me right now. Number one, the length of my hair has been a barrier that I need to break down because I'm letting it prevent me from washing my hair, which therefore prevents me from getting ready, which therefore prevents me from showing up. But I'm also believing the lie that in the current state of my body, I am not worthy of a cute short haircut. Like what the actual heck? What the heck? That's the stupidest lie. I've, you know, be been believing the lie that I have to hide this body that I'm in behind this longer hair. I feel a little bit ashamed saying this out loud, but I'm just like, hey, lies live in the darkness. And when we bring things to the light, we are free of them. I believe that scripture says that it is real. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm bringing it to the light. I'm never gonna talk this much about hair but I wanted to give you the vulnerable side behind what it means for me to go cut my hair right now. This is genuinely a proclamation to myself that I refuse to let the size of my body continue to hold me back in my life. I'm just done waiting. I'm done waiting. I'm so, I'm so done waiting. Just thinking about all the things I've waited to do start a YouTube channel, cut my hair, buy new clothes, go on trips with my husband, take photos with my husband. How much of my life have I missed out on because I'm waiting for my body to look different? I'm done waiting to do something I want to do because of the size of my body. No more.